Welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and we will talk about the navigation pane on the left side of most of the Windows Explorer screens. Uh, when you go through your files, your folders, uh, either by clicking at the bottom or if you just you know, go into computer and you have this panel show up, there's always the left pane that is there and showing you also uh, kind of a quick look of your important folders and important options. Um, one of the biggest problems I've seen with people on this panel is the fact that they uh, are a little lost on how it works and often mistake uh, the fact that what's in the middle and what's on the left is uh, basically the same thing most of the time and they often say well you know why do I have three or two document folders and most of the time when I examine that for them I will tell them well you don't have three document folders you only have one document folder but you have different ways of actually viewing the document folder. So that kind of uh, mixes them up a little bit and a lot of people are lost with that. So this video is trying to explain to you a little bit how the viewing of the folders and of the files in your computer works. When you click on an icon to go into files uh, or view folders the left pane that you see that often has the libraries of documents music pictures videos basically is a quick shortcut way to actually visit and go to these areas so for example if on the left side I click libraries and click documents I in the documents folder and that's it already there I'm in my documents library what they call a library now but if I go to the C drive and go into my user account and click my documents they're going to say well you're in your C drive it shows here and still has a color and you have a documents there that says my documents yep well it's the same thing you see it contains the same information if I click on documents on the library here here we go and I have the same information but you see that on the top it doesn't show the same information libraries are kind of there to eliminate the complex million folder way of going into the documents folder uh, in Windows XP, you didn't have that. You had to go through, uh, you know, the users and the uh, user account and then the document, my documents. And you'd have that um, address bar look at the top that would say C drive, users, uh, learning computer or your uh, username and then my documents. And that was complicated because you had to click a lot of uh, folders in a lot of places before you just go to your documents folder unless you'd use of course the documents folder in here on the start button or the start menu or if you had maybe a document shortcut on your desktop that would make it easier but keep in mind that if it says libraries documents or if it says this complex users and your username and my documents it's exactly the same thing it's just two ways of showing you the same spot on your hard drive with the same documents so don't get mixed up keep in mind that the left panel is there to help you get directly to what you want quicker and don't uh, actually just don't mind the fact that you might see two times the same thing because in 99% of the cases that I've seen uh, it's basically the same thing viewed differently so keep in mind that that's one of the ways to actually see uh, your folders and uh, your different documents and pictures and music or whatever uh, also in the left pane you have these little arrows 
uh, just left, I don't know if you can see them here with my uh, camera, but for example, to the left side of documents, there's a little arrow. If I click that, it actually opens documents, my documents, all the folders that are part of documents. Once again, don't get mixed up. Documents and my documents are the same. It's just that the document library points to the my documents folder. I know it's complicated, uh, but try to visualize that all it has to do, the library is there to help you go to the folders that contain that information. So play around with the pane and look at the different folders and try to understand uh, by slowly looking at everything. And once again, don't say, well, I have three of them and, um, well, I think I have three times the same thing. Don't go in and say, well, okay, I'll erase one and then I'll have only one left. Well, if you erase it, you might erase everything and lose everything. So be careful how you handle these folders and files. And of course, you can close back these panels by clicking the little arrow that now is pointing downwards and they'll come back to the horizontal look and everything is gone. Same thing, you're in your panel or the pane and the, um, on the left side and you're thinking, hey, my libraries are disappeared. What am I going to do? They have disappeared from my screen. Well, look at the little arrow. If it's pointing horizontal to the right, it means that it's the, pan, the panel is closed. You can actually click on it and it's gonna open up the different folders that are there. So I know this is a little uh, complicated subject. I know it's um, kind of um, awkward for a lot of people to understand. Um, but just play around and try to understand that all of that is different ways of showing you the same information over and over again. So be careful, don't think that you might have duplicates or three times or four times the same thing. Uh, you actually have two, three or four times the same information viewed differently. If you enjoy our videos, well click the uh, subscribe button. You'll be informed when new videos online and if you have a Windows 7 machine, well, we'll have lots of videos and we already have a lot of videos showing you how to do a lot of stuff on Windows 7 and uh, we also have our sister channel on YouTube if you have a, or plan to buy a Windows 8 machine we have the official Windows 8 channel available also and uh, hey if you have that question that uh, something you don't understand if we can answer it we'll try to if you have a video or a feature you'd like us to make a video of then uh, please ask and you'll be helping not only yourself but you'll be helping others understand how it works and uh, hopefully enjoy our channel and welcome back to the official windows 7 thanks for watching bye bye